Hello and welcome to Computing Fundamentals 2. I am Dr. Basil Magabli, a lecturer of computer science here in the IT. Concepts from discrete mathematics have not only been used to address problems in computing, but have been applied to solve problems in many areas such as chemistry, geography, business, etc. So a course in Computing Fundamentals provides the mathematical background needed for all subsequent courses in computer science and for all subsequent courses in many branches of discrete mathematics. Topics in discrete mathematics will be important in many courses that you will take in the future, such as computer architecture, data structures, algorithms, programming language, and databases. Graph theory is the science that helps us answering the following question. What is the shortest path between two cities using a transportation system? Find the shortest tour that visits each of a group of cities only once and then ends in the starting city. Considering the Irish roadmap shown in the figure, if we start our journey at a new port, is it possible to travel each road exactly once and return to new port? As you can see from the map, there is many paths we can take, but which one is the shortest? or which path is the fastest. All these questions are going to be answered using a graph theory. This course provides a structured introduction to graph theory and its applications. In specific, we will cover the following topics. Graphs and the graphs models, graph terminology, special types of graph, representing a graph, finding the shortest path, and we will also discuss some algebraic structure and techniques. Uh, this course is divided into two parts, videos and labs. Videos will provide context and theory of a graph, statistics and algebra. Labs will provide the practice of discrete mathematics and their application using a prologue. Labs have a mix of problem solving and programming. Lectures are published weekly on web courses, so we will have between one to three online lecture components per week. There will be a lab every week, as you can see on the timetable. So this is a model overview of computing fundamentals and the topics we are going to discuss. Thank you and welcome to Computing Fundamentals.